Good morning, it is Phoenix Amore. So it is the day after Christmas. Now, you see the weather was just purely bananas. It was crazy everywhere. That's why I said everywhere to include a bomb. Now, that had to be diffused. To include a super volcano that looked like, oh, this thing may um, erupt soon. So this is now where I was talking about trying to school people on keeping folks grounded in reality. Now, where am I going with this? This is where I have to tell people what you're seeing in the movies, right, is also playing out on the spiritual plane, for real, for real. So if you imagine, some, let, let's say, because I, I haven't even watched some of the Harry Potter movies because I've had this, this ugly vibe about it. Now, what I did, I was like, Lord of the Rings, I like those kind of movies there because that was, if you really think about the concept behind that, that was really actually very deeply um, spiritual because you had the elves and you have you have these different facets of um, the elves are actually spiritual and healers, if you think about it, but they can fight. This is where I was using all these analogies to kind of teach people really on that spiritual realm. That's how that stuff actually appears. So when I'm going off on somebody, like someone is looking for you and I'm really trying to let you know that is real. When I say um, death is looking for you, that's real. And on that spiritual plane, death is, is like this dark cloud thing, depending on where you're going. And it's real. And so when I say peaceful death of those going to heaven, it's a little different. But sometimes when I say it's that that, Luc that Lucifer type death, as I want to say, where I'm seeing, I'm like, ooh, that's not going to, your soul ain't going to make it. Like it's going, you're going to hell. And it's not, that's not condemning. I'm really seeing it on that spiritual plane like this is bad this this don't this ain't gonna go good for that brother so anyway um when i tell people about this being lucifer's dominion i have to break this down because my mother and i were just speaking about angels and i said you know angels they're they're also people so this being lucifer's dominion if you're tapping in again to this these spirits here you don't know what you are tapping into at times. So some of these men are actually walking around. They're angels, but they're angels on that wrong side. That is something I really need people to understand. Same way, if you're walking on that light side, again, I talk about when I when I had that experience while I was drinking that water, and, and it was very, it was, I knew what that meant. It was like Holy Spirit. So I, I understood what that meant. And so one of the things that I really try to teach people is knowing that true blue um, discernment. And so you have all this bad energy right now that I'm able to see, right? Again, not with these eyes. I don't walk around and see, oh my God, somebody face them. No, it's nothing like that. It's really when I'm in astral projection mode or sleep mode, wh whatever it is. Now, me, I'm also able to understand what a dream versus when I've astral projected somewhere. But if this is the thing that's that's a little spooky for some people. Sometimes God sends me. So sometimes it's not it's not like I'm just laying here and I'm like, let me go see. Uh uh. I that's why I worded like when God shows me you, there's a difference there. When he's ready for me to say, Oh, okay, go here, go there. This is what I want you to see. That's really what happens. So learn the difference there. Like, I'm not playing some almighty oracle that's like, let me go see. I feel like only oh, let me go spy on so and so. This really is when God is like, it's okay, some mess going on over here. Go see and then go warn these people. And if they don't listen, dust your feet. Now you get that concept. So now you have all this little sorcery stuff going on and all these people where, oh, can you believe so-and-so cussed so-and-so out? You may have needed to hear this is really the situation going on. Now, if, you, if I use the wrong language for you, I, I don't know what to tell you. So I did some of this purposely. I put all this cursing up purposely because I said, watch how people do when they don't want to hear what you're saying. They're going to find why they don't want to listen to what you're saying. Oh, the word choice you use is just terrible. Okay, well, poof, something blew, <laughs> blown up now. Well, I told you. You didn't want to listen because I said, holy shit, this shit is about to blow up. Watch your language. Boom. This is where I'm trying to break stuff down to people. Stop being silly like that. But I also did it for another reason. I waited because I'm that, I said, somebody's going to troll me as soon as they get an opportunity. I intentionally set it up to where my Facebook, you can't comment unless you're a friend. What did I do? I have zero friends on my Facebook. So learning how people, when they get pissed off, and they're like, I want to be able to say something. As soon as I put a YouTube video up, what happened? Troll. 
Now, what did I do? I handled the troll, but on Facebook, what do celebrities mainly do? Some, some get an article written. Oh, so and so handled this troll, and da 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 da. That's drama. So I'm taking you to where people started losing some respect for celebrities. It wasn't about your money, it's your behavior. It's like, you look like some high school kids. People have to handle trolls every day, but you go get an article written because you want that shine. Like, look at me, I handle trolls and like, okay, whatever. So this is the difference. I'm going to break it down for you. This is the difference between per posting cursing versus naked pictures. Naked pictures are sending a signal out. Sleep with me. Sex, 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 sex. I'm going to say it very simply. There were not women being snatched off the streets because of cursing. There were women being snatched off the streets and raped because of all these naked pictures floating around. It is what it is. Take responsibility. Take care.